Hello, this is Travel with Nana T, and I want to thank you for joining me on this adventure. I am traveling solo and by cruise ship. Our first stop is in the Old Town, where we will walk the city wall, which is way cool and worth every penny. The views are spectacular, and afterwards we will stroll through the streets and alleys of the Old Town then off on a panoramic tour before we head back to the ship and out to sea. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, this was actually the first port that we visited where we were able to go out and explore on our own. So I chose not to do an excursion and decided to do my own thing. And this is how I did it. First, there is an ATM machine within the fenced area of the port. I personally like to have a little of the local currency on me in case I can't use a credit card for whatever reason. Second, there are taxis lined up waiting for you inside the fenced area. They charge a flat rate to the old city. But wait, you have a choice. And this is my third tip. As you exit the port gate, you will find several taxi vans waiting on cruise passengers. You will most likely be approached by someone who speaks English holding a flyer with different tours. I chose one that included round-trip transportation into the Old City, plus a panoramic tour. And I saved 64 euros in the process. Not only did I save money, but I feel like I was able to get a full day in, and I really enjoyed myself. As you enter the old city, you will see the wall with the city map. Take some time here. Look closely at the damage done during 91 and 92. You know, that wasn't very long ago. And if you interact with the locals, there's a really good chance that they will share firsthand experiences with you about the war Croatians refer to as the Homeland War. really really hate little tiny spaces and there's a freaking lock door whatever at any rate I had to get in here and get out look how tiny this place is oh my gosh if it wasn't for the views I would have never come in here I don't like little tiny places look at this like oh my goodness you gotta bend down to get out of that door this is probably where they locked prisoners or I don't know, Rapunzel, somebody, somebody was in here. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here and watch this. Look how tiny. Holy smokes. Super, super tight. Oh my gosh. Super, super tight. Do that itsy bitsy little door. It's a, a, a tiny little door, tiny, little, small, very small.
Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chance Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chance on where I'm visiting because I like to know and before I go. So at the end of this video, under my Nana T travel tips, you will find some of my favorite websites as well. For sure, check out the one about cruise ports. That is where I found the info on the 20 Euro Tours. Although I knew just a few hours wasn't going to be enough time, there's just so much to see. But since this was a solo trip for me, and I do have plans to come back with my husband one day, I was able to focus on the time I did have and not worry or stress over all the things I wasn't going to see. The bottom line is, no matter where you visit, you can't see and do everything. So enjoy what you can. Everything I know will be gone in a minute. And that's all right. All right.
Okay, where are my Game of Thrones fans? I know you're out there. I also know that the Old City was a major filming set for that series. However, to be honest with you, I haven't seen the series yet. So, by all means, add a comment below the places you recognize here. And I put a really cool link at the end of the video. Check that out as well. Thank you.